Hi guys, welcome back to Wallington Filming. It's another Painter's Prizes. This particular plot is a three bedroomed um, house. Uh, it's got nine doors, I do believe, nine frames. En suite. And it's all in white. Ceilings and walls. Happy days. Right, so what I'm going to do is show you around this plot and tell you how much I got paid for it and how long it took me. Um, the, the doors are six panel doors. So, yeah, uh, boring, eh? Right? Six panel doors. Uh, I think it might have nine and a half doors. We'll count them. As we go around. Very small stairs to paint. Big difference from the last three bed property that I painted. Um, I think it had, the last one had 10 frames, 12 doors, large square footage, so yeah, quite big, and the stairs were absolutely ginormous massive so you, I, I think the stairs in this particular room you near enough had a whole length of stairs spindles were in one way from one end of the room to the other and the same again at the top absolutely massive uh, bit disappointed with that plot because need to say no lights no eating on the day I was glossing it, it was really overcast and it was really dark in the plot. Um, got a bit of a problem on that plot, moaning about the quality. But what can you do when you can't see what you're doing? Do you know what I mean? And the price for, for that particular one was the same. Well, it was actually, hold on, 45 quid less, but about half the size again. I don't know how it worked that out, I really, I really don't. Was not happy about it. Needless to say, I won't go back on them builders for him because his prices are like uh, garbage, basically. They're, they're, they're not right. I don't know if he's just making it up as he goes along or what, but the prices are no good. So on that particular builder, I, I, I won't go back on there. If I get offered any work back on there, I'll say, no, forget it, mate. Not going back on there after last time. But anyway, let me show you around this plot um, and show what's involved and how long it took me and how much got paid. Right guys, here's the entrance hall. Yeah, there's the front door. I'll just spin it round for you to get an idea of the entrance hall. Yeah, average sort of size. So yeah, not, not too bad. Um, first thing it greets you from the front door is a downstairs toilet. So there's the doors I'm on about, six panel. Boring. Unless you've got a six and a half inch Worcester, then not too bad. So yeah, there's downstairs toilet. Windboard there. General stuff. Nothing exciting. Uh, under cupboard. Covered under the stairs, I should say. Yeah. Little half door there. There's the stairs going up. And that small bit there and a bit at the top. Coming off the hall, off the entrance hall is the lounge. Just one window board, plenty of sockets. Good old size, good size living room. Be happy with that, wouldn't you? Can't mind that, can you? No LED bulbs though. Bit disappointed, isn't it? Might do, I suppose they can all do it, can they? Then into the kitchen area. Kitchen diner. Nice kitchen. Spotlights. <laughs> extra for the customer, but the painter don't get extra. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, there's the kitchen. One window board in here. 
There's the dine, dining area. So, yeah. Kitchen. Diner. Patio doors. So let's go upstairs. Just string in. And that's your stairs there. Just a small bit. The last three bit I, I, I had to paint, it was about five times bigger than that. I'm not joking. It was horrendous. I, I can't, I'm a bit well disappointed about it, to be honest. I, I can't believe it. I, you just ripped me off, I think. Anyway, here's your landing. Bedroom one. Not a bad size for a box room, to be honest. Good shine on them, silver, beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Not a bad size. Get a good bed down here. Wardrobe, yeah, not bad for a box room, to be honest. Bedroom one. Bedroom two, fairly good size room in here. One windowsill. This one's got the ensuite. So, toilet sink, rad. Big frame on here. Don't know why, to be honest. I ain't got a clue why. But uh, that comes in bare timber, so I had to get out an extra coat. Try and book a fiver in for that. There's your double shower. Bedroom two. Bedroom three, good size again, good size bedroom. All in white, one window board. Yeah. Still on, there, there's a little bit of stairs, nothing is it? I tell you what. Then you got like an airing cupboard sort of thing. I've painted that. I had to paint on the last side. I don't know if I have to paint on this side, but you know, painted it anyway, because that's the kind of guy I am. Yeah, into the main bathroom. Nice tiles, I like these tiles. A bit disappointed about the uh, plastic trim though, it's a bit of a shame really. Chrome chrome tile trim, it was like lovely with them tiles, wasn't it? But yeah, shower, bath, all that. Six panel doors. Yeah, so that's about it really. Let's count the doors. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six doors upstairs. Seven, eight, nine and a half. Nine and a half doors. Hmm. Did a similar sort of free bed and it only had eight. So yeah, that's it. Right, you've seen around this particular plot or unit, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, nine, nine and a half doors. Uh, so the time it took me to paint this from start to finish was three and a half days. So you might as well say four days, didn't you? Um, you have to bear in mind it had a pretty decent base coat or mist coat which is not done by me uh, it's done by somebody else yeah it's done by somebody else uh, and they, they get a separate price for that um, i don't have to buy materials just just my time is for for the oncoming price so um the price i got paid for it was £835. Not bad. Uh, gives me what? About 210 a day, roughly. What has annoyed me though, is I had my mate here um, yesterday, and um, the one they wanted to paint a load of these plots at the weekend, which they get paid extra for, which is nice. But he, he, he showed me his phone, 
and you've got different prices to me. Now, I've just been over to two plots, uh, and one of them is exactly the same as this, and he's getting more money for it. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I mean, all, all you're after is trusting. No, all, all you're after is a boss that you can trust. And all the boss is after is, is, is a painter he can trust, but you're not going to get that trust if you're getting different blokes, different prices here. You know, because word gets around like wildfire, doesn't it? We all talk, we're all on the phone, and you know, we don't think anything of discussing prices with each other, do we? So yeah, he got a different price. So I've just been over to two plots. One of them's got 10 full doors, and um, the other one has got nine half doors, exactly the same as this. Uh, and this, what? 15 pound difference in that for some reason. I don't know why. So yeah, the price I got paid for this plot was 835 pound, uh, done in four days, because I've got nothing else to do, I've got to pack my kids up and go now. But what has annoyed me is, the other plot is 15 odd quid uh, more, and the plot next door to that, slightly different house type, but um, that one is 880. So it's gone up 30 quid, just for one door and one beer wall. But there you go, not too bad. Hope you've enjoyed content of this video. If you have, don't forget to. Until next time, from the Candleman, stay safe. Mom. Another bloody accident on my street. Hey, this is why we need speed dumps. On yeah, there you go. I'm going to get you on it in a minute. I don't know what the coppers are here for. They ain't got the budget for anything, they told me. <laughs> Well, that's it, isn't it?